Okay, let's go find a table that we can analyze and then recreate in brackets. And let's find something fun. League of Legends tournament results. Actually, League of Legends on Wikipedia right here. And if we scroll down, we have a bunch of tables. Regions which have reached up four. Well, that's kind of boring, right? It's just the uh, four columns and one, two, three, four, five, six rows in total. Whereas the first one is going to be a header and the other one is going to be table, table rows and they're each, each going to contain four cells. That's kind of boring. This one is also super boring, but that would be fun because you could have the table header and the table footer thing for long tables because that's long. So you could play around with that. And this one is super boring. That's uh, that's kind of interesting, but actually the most interesting was on the top. Let's do that one. Let's stop here for a second. This one appears to be the most interesting. Let's look at it. On the top, we have a header. So that header contains the year, the final location, the final and the third and the fourth. And then we have a bunch of rows. They come here. Do, do, do. Okay, let's just squeeze the table to the side for a bit. And here's my setup with brackets. Let's see if we can recreate the table. Obviously, first in our HTML, we need a table. That table needs a table row. And that table row needs a table header. And let's do header cell one. And as you can see on the live preview side of things, things start showing up as I copy this in. However, I find it hard to work with because I can't recognize what is cells or is it just in one cell. So what I like to do is table trtd in my, in my CSS file and do a border of one pixel solid. Let's do pink just for the fun of it and refresh. That was not wide enough for me to be able to see. So I switch it up table four. So why is it not applying around the header cell one, header cell two, header cell three? Well, because in my CSS, I didn't add table header. So if I do that, now I get a table and this is uh, highlighting things because of markup in live preview. But see, now you have the, the headers around them, but it kind of looks still silly and I hate looking at it. So I do border collapse, collapse as well. And now I can see where my cells are at and it's not confusing for me to look at. Now I want to create a other row in my table. So I go table row. Now I put table data because this is score one that goes in here and I then repeat it. I could score two and score three. What happens if I put another one is that the top line is not going to grow in terms of numbers of cells. It's just going to show up with an empty field because I expand the size of this uh, second row. So if I put in fourth, you can see it's just going to expand. Now, uh, I could repeat that like this table data, actually the whole table row. And let's do a beautify because it's kind of hard to read. So I just go ahead and save it. And now it helps me indent it, right? So score one, and then I have to refresh because of stupid live review. So you can see here on the right hand side that I have it, the header cell is, is missing one. That's because I only have three children of the ta first table row, but I have fourth children of the second table row. And what I like to do is simply just create so that I have an equal amount. And then when I have that, when I have that, I can go back and look in my lead of League of Legends la, 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 League of Legends table uh, score table to figure out what I need to do. And let's look at that for a second. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four columns, or did we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns? Huh? What I think I'd like to do is rather than embedding a whole table within cell or uh, header cell three, what I'd like to do is actually make one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do some call span row span fun.
Okay, I I admit I've gone ahead and cheated a little bit. I made a, a two header lines, header cell one and header cell two. I I basically just copy pasted them and extended them to six cells because that's counting, right? Then looking at this, what I need to do is find out how I can collapse the one that is one, two, three, and four and five into being just one cell. So that's going to be one, two, three from the top. So that's going to be one, two, three. If I take this one and I write call span equals three, what's going to happen is that it extends and it pushes out cell five and six. That looks stupid. So if I go ahead and delete those, I am back at it now. Okay. So what happens below? Well, it appears actually I should have counted more than six, right? Because we have score that's apparently two columns as well, but it's just collapsed. What should we do? Do, 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 do? Well, obviously what we should do is go ahead and make this one four instead, right? So that expense now four, which means that we also have generated a new one here. That's going to be seven and Yes, seven, and that also means this one generates a seven, and so on and so on. We do the same here, and seven, right? Because then when I look at score, that's going to be the one that says score right here. Let me mark it up for you. This one, we're going to collapse two. That corresponds to this one and this one. So header cell four in the second row. This is the first row. This is the second row. Header cell four. This is that one. That's going to be call span equals two. That pushes something out. It pushes out header cell seven, this one. So let's go ahead and delete that. That looks better. And let's actually now start marking it up. Uh, score like this. Okay. And the one before should be champion, champion. Oh, that's is hard. Spelling is hard. And this one should be runner up, runner up. Okay. So what should I write here? Well, that one should be put together with something using a row span. Should that be in the first line or in the second line? Well, it should be in the first line. And let me show you why. Because if I do row span equals two, then that's going to pop out header cell six. So I can go ahead and delete that. Yes. And in this header cell four, what should I write here? I should write a third, 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 fourth. Well, wow, spelling is super hard. Yes. Okay, so year, this one, that should also have a row span of two, right? And then that's going to be year. And this one, what's that going to be? A row span of two. And what should that be? Final location. And header cell three. Well, now you can barely see in my drawing downs underneath, because but that's its final. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Something happened here, right? So, what happened here? That's because these pop out, right? These pop out because we changed row span on the top end, so they they kind of pop in, which means we need to delete them to have the table looking nicely. Boom. If I save that and refresh on this side, that should give us a really nice table that looks more or less like this, right? Then I can go in and fill out the score with the year and everything. So that's how you could work with tables in a very visual way.